Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Ramesha Patel and today in this video I'm going to discuss on an important and advanced topic on Tableau that is toggle button. So basically a toggle button is an interactive switch such as these like green and red button, yes or no, on and off. Such kind of buttons when they click on they get a kind of an illusion that uh, they can view uh, two different uh, sheets on the dashboard when they click on and off. So if I say in other words or in layman terms, then when the user click on this green button, they get a toggling effect. A toggling effect means they get a different view based on whatever the conditions that you have applied. They get a different records and view uh, when they click on this green button. And when user click on this red button, they get some default view means the one which was there already a kind of a view they get. So a kind of a toggling effect happens on the dashboard. So this is what a toggle button works for. So let's apply the same thing and create uh, the same toggling effect on our dashboard and add on more creativity on our side. So here I am using a sample superstore data set and based on that uh, I'm creating a toggling effect where uh, this effect uh, it gonna generate that those products based on category and subcategory uh, with respect to the profit ratio greater than zero. So whichever the products uh, based on category and subcategory, those who have their product ratio uh, or sorry profit ratio greater than zero, which means those who are in good amount of profit or let's say they are in profit zone, uh, that is the only products you need to get in this view. So the records will only show profit ratio greater than zero for this toggle on button and in toggle off, uh, does not matter whether the profit ratio is greater than less than or equal to. So let's create the same thing on this. For this go to a new worksheet. And here I'll name this sheet as toggle off because right now first I'll going to create the one which is the default one. So I'll name this as a toggle off and I'll highlight this with uh, change with the semi bold bold and highlight it with the red in color so it is kind of giving you an idea that okay toggle off means a default one okay and as I said I'm using a sample superstore so I'll go with this a sample superstore data set and here I'll search for that product okay so this is my product hierarchy and from there I'm uh, dragging this category over in the rows uh, same as uh, subcategory you can drill down to product name as well but right now I'll keep this as uh, per my problem statement. So this is about category and subcategory and what I'll do is I want my profit ratio. So uh, to create that profit ratio go to the analysis and here click on create calculated field. Name this as profit ratio. And in the calculation, I'll write sum of profit divided by sum of sales. So that's what uh, this profit ratio logic is. Click on apply and OK. And here we have our product, uh, profit ratio. Now drag this profit ratio and put it in the text. We'll get something in numbers, but we want in a percentage. So I'll go, um, I write it over here and go to the format. And there in the fields, click on this aggregated profit ratio. And here from this numbers, change the change it to percentage. I'll keep the decimal two decimal points. It's fine. So here we have our uh, subcategory ca category subcategory based on this where you can see this book cases are in negative percentage, which means the profit ratio is actually in loss, I would say. Then tables are definitely in losses, minus 8.53, some other supplies as well. So, okay. So, we got three of our subcategories, bookcases, um, tables, and uh, supplies, which are in um, negative profit ratio. So, which means this we don't want. Definitely, we don't want in our toggle, uh, toggle on, right? But uh, before, let's enhance this view a bit more, uh, change the format, and here in the shading, I'll remove this row banding. I don't want that. It's pain and header. Okay. All right. So we are good right now. Okay. Now let's create one more sheet, which is says toggle on. Okay. 
I'll name this sheet as toggle on and as we have highlighted this one as red I'll highlight this and change the color of um, make it bold and change it to green just to make sure that this is for the toggle on all right so this is toggle off and toggle on and again I'll drag my product uh, category subcategory or to the rows and search now for the profit ratio drag it over here all right again change it format go to the fields aggregated profit numbers change it to percentage and yeah here we good but now about as per our uh, condition is we want a profit ratio to be greater than zero so what we'll do is again drag this profit ratio put it to the filters and here in the at least i'll put it here 0 0.00 all right click on apply and okay so here we have our subcategories which says it should be um, greater than or equal to zero I would say but uh, definitely they are greater than zero so if you if we see on this toggle off we have remove our bookcases tables and whatnot okay the supplies as well so yeah we don't have this so which means this is our toggle on so now our important or the most important agenda is like we have our sheets ready but now we want that toggling effect right so what we'll do is first we'll click on our dashboard and then on this new dashboard i'll drag this vertical object over here okay now drag this toggle on first and then toggle off over here okay now for the toggle off go to this more option and here change it and make it instead of till just make it it in the floating so i'll click on floating and now drag this and put it somewhere just exactly on the top hide this whole uh, toggle on sheet okay just highlight okay i'll drag and just keep exactly at the same at the same level okay uh, and now from this more option again remove the title all right so this is so just keep in mind the first one is your toggle off and the one which is at the back or it's behind is actually the toggle on all right now for that switches uh, as i shown you this this on and off okay how would i get it okay that's most important thing many of you might uh, raise this question so most important thing that is uh, go to your google so here is my okay go to the google and here is the image and here write the toggle button transparent background okay so to, so you will get this on blue green and all different colors whichever the font colors black and white uh, I prefer the one which is like easy to understand for on and off with the uh, red and green which is easy for everyone this black also because in monochromatic is always a good one um, so yeah you can try that you can download all this um, if they are in in one image then you can split in their edit so you can try a number of methods you can download individual individually as well so this is what our toggle button just download put it somewhere on your local drive disk wherever you want okay now the next point is so i have downloaded my those uh, two which i have shown these red and green which is ideal for showing just on and off okay but you can try as per your um, you know design and theme all right so what next is important point is now just again highlight this one so i'll again repeat the first one is your toggle off and the back back side uh, or behind this sheet is the toggle on all right so go to this more option and here you will find most important point is add show and hide button just click on this this small teeny mini uh, this is actually a hide button is drag it from this top left and put it somewhere over here in the right okay um again uh, important point to discuss the toggle buttons are either in the middle or in the right they are never on the left top left or somewhere so not to put somewhere over here this is what i have uh, uh, with my experience i'm saying but highly recommended to put it and keep it somewhere on the right side you can also suggest your business users 
or uh, whosoever your product owner or they are dealing with you or the uh, or your managers all right okay uh yeah we are back with our toggle button so when you use this just go to this more option click on this edit button when you click on this edit button so first thing they they tell you is what dashboard item is in front is actually a toggle off all right so the item which is showing over here is the item shown and right now you are changing the button style is is an image button you can put it a text button as well on and off you can also write it's up to you but we are using this image button based on that so in this image shown choose and from here i'm selecting this on button this i have already downloaded see I, you can see this is the one it was a one picture i have uh, i have separate these two ones all right this is toggle on on uh, okay so this is for the item shown means the toggle off for the first sheet which is there in front now the item hidden which means the back back of that sheet all right so change it and for here i'm using toggle off all right so item on is okay okay the item shown the first sorry my bad it's item which is showing first is the toggle off because it's there with the negatives as well negative profit ratio and the item which is hidden at the back is actually the on okay that's my bad apply and okay so here we go so the one which is in the negatives are actually the are um uh, they are the toggle off that's why it's red all right now what here on this tool tip it says for toggle off to hide and change it to toggle on for you you need to click on alt plus click so alt plus click when you click on that you get the toggle on right so this is the toggle on where uh, the logic was we want all uh, all those profit ratios greater than zero for this category and subcategory so that's how again if you want to go back just click on alt plus click and here you have your toggle off which means all the default one so that's how in a few simple clicks and few simple steps you get your toggle button ready okay i would uh, agree there are a lot of methods for toggling a uh, toggling button uh, using parameters as well but i want to show you the one which is ideally uh, you can do in a very simple few clicks but we'll see on our upcoming videos that what are the other ways you can do so and i will definitely ask you like uh, uh, for what are the uh, situation or the scenarios you are using this toggling button i would be happy to hear whatever the problem statement you have if you have any questions you can definitely email me but if something i would uh, know in what scenarios you are using it it will re really helpful for everyone and for me as well to know so i hope you like this video if you really like then do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such video your comments are definitely helping me to improve and energize and create more and more of such a videos for you that it's helpful and you're happy to learn this uh, thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one